Hey guys, it's Bucky Badger Andrew B here, and I'm here to do a tutorial on, sorry about that, I'm here to do a tutorial about how to update your servers to 1.3 that just recently came out about three days ago, I want to say. Alright, so the first thing, or update slash do a server. Now, I already have a server, as you can see. Now, if I run it, it says Minecraft 1.2.5, 1. which is the previous version. Now, if you want to update this, this is very important. Oh, I gotta just quick stop. Make sure nothing's corrupted. Now, what you want to do, first and foremost, is if there's a world file you want to save, I strongly recommend copying it and pasting it into another file. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to go kind of through my files. Uh, let's see here. Uh, documents. Uh, my games. Nope. That's not it. Games, there we go. And I strongly recommend you putting your world file in here. Strongly recommend it. Now, I already did this, so I don't need to do it again. Um, also, I would back up your server as well, just in case something else corrupts. You know, things might happen. It's, it's Minecraft. I wouldn't put it past them for that to happen. So, once you got this backed up, what you do is you delete only the server.exe only this don't delete anything else you only delete the server now keep everything else there and now what you want to go is you want to go to your internet and what you have to do is you go to well minecraft.net and you know log in just do your login it's not a big deal and there we go and then you go download now. Now what you do is you go to the multiplayer server and you just download. Um, if you're in Windows, just do Minecraft server.exe. Um, any other, I think Apple use this, but I'm not entirely sure. So for all you PC, you download this, and I already downloaded it because I updated it. Um, so what you do, no, you don't want to run. You don't want to run it. That's big mistake. <laughs> I almost did a big mistake. What you want to go is you want to go to your downloads file. You go to um, whichever one you want. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. But you want to copy and you want to paste it into your server file, which I exited out of. Okay, so you go back and you just copy and paste it right into here. And so when you run it, you get Minecraft version 1.3. And if you run your world, it will update your world into Minecraft 1.3. Now if you're new at this, let's say you've never ever done this before in your life. Like you are just starting a server. What I would suggest you do is you create a new folder on your desktop. So new folder. Alright, and then what you do is you, I'm just going to use the same thing, I'm just going to copy and paste it into here. Alright, and then what you do Nothing's on here, but what you got to do is you got to run it and it's preparing spawn area and all that other good stuff And there we go All this stuff will pop up a new world will pop up Different stuff will you know pop up you can go to server properties You can go to anything you want change anything you want. Let's say you like you want it Max players you want it to be five or something. All you gotta do is highlight it. Whoops. Hi highlight it. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job highlighting. Highlighting it, and you can just do five, and you go file, and save, and then it'll save your thing. But um, I already have a uh, server running, so I'm just gonna delete all this stuff because it doesn't apply to me. Uh, oh shoot. Whoop. Cancel. Uh, let's see here. What's what's going on? Oh wait, am I I'm running it. Ha. <laughs> I'm running the server like an idiot. Alright, stop. And now I can just do this. Alright. So, you know, everything will be still there. Now there's this one step, this one critical step that you have to do before anything else. Because let's say you want to run Minecraft, so I'm running it, run uh login, as you can see, one point three. Um, I'm not going to go to multiplayer because it has my IP on there, but let's say you go to multiplayer and you put in your um, IP, uh, I got to show you what IP you use, um, 
it might not work, but that's because you're gonna miss this step. Now this step is very important. What you gotta do is you gotta go to your command, com, oops, spelled it wrong, command prompt. You type in IP config, no spaces. This is exactly how you should type it in. Now you get all this crap, you know, all this, it's really complicated, but there's one thing uh, if you can see my mouse, I don't know if you can or not, you might not be able to, I might have hit it. But you want to go to your default gateway, alright, write it down, and uh, for me it's 192.168.1.1. Now what you gotta do is you got to go to your Internet Explorer, open up a new tab, and then you copy and paste that, um, that IP address into your uh, website address thing. Now I already put it up and so, you know, it's it's there for me. Now for your username, I would just suggest doing admin. And if you have a password, put in the password. You should have written it down if you didn't. I'm sorry. Um, but if you don't have a password, it's probably just admin again. But I do have a password on my router. So I'll just type that in. And then I get a bunch of this stuff, which is also overly complicated. But first thing you have to do is you gotta go security. And this box should be checked, all right? I want you to uncheck that box. You do not want to block an anonymous, <laughs> sorry, I can't pronounce that, internet request. You don't want to do that, all right? I have it unblocked or unchecked, but you might not have to. But you got to do save settings. It'll take a while. Settings are successful. All right, that's good. Now, what you got to do is you got to go application and gaming. Now, down in either one, I just have it down lower for whatever reason. You put the application. The application really doesn't matter. I just put Minecraft. Now, you have to do a port, and the port is 25565. You should probably write that down because that's very important. And you do it in both, and then what you do at the ending of this, you have to do the ending of your IP4 address, which for me is 102. And after you do that, what you have to do is you have to um, make sure your port is running. And how to do that is you got to go to test, or not test my port, it's uh, yougetsignal.com. All right. So now there's my IP address, which I will black out. And then you put the port number on there and you check it. Um, it's going to say your port is not open. What you have to do is you have to go to your server and you have to run the server. All right, are you, are you, I hope you're following this because there's a lot of information. Now you gotta run your server and I'll check it again. And if your port is open, people connect, can connect to your um, public IP and how you figure it out is you just go, what's my IP? And um, it'll show your IP and that's what you connect to. Um, also, a quick reminder, bef like before you set up the server, make sure you have the colon 25565. Make sure you have that on there or else it won't work. So I'm going to go to my Minecraft account. I'm going to quick run multiplayer, searching for land wards, that's, or land worlds, um, that's for something else. I'm probably going to block that IP again or make it a whitelist server. Either way it will work. And I'm going to join my own server. And then, as you can see, my server is all ready to go. Um, try not to look at this. This is going to be for another series called Mega Builds. So um, that, that's what I use the server for at this moment. But yeah, that's how it works. And as you can see, it works because the gravel texture is a little bit different than it uh, normally should be. So um, yeah, that's pretty much how you update or create a server in Minecraft. If you like this video, I'd appreciate you give it a like or comment or anything. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would strongly recommend subscribing. And um, yeah, that should be it. If you have any questions, I'll be looking at the comments and trying to answer any questions you guys have. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys whenever I record next time.